Hey guys, uh, here it is a random sample of size 16 from the normal distribution given where right here you did x bar equal to 73.8 phi and the five percent confidence interval. First, the formula is x bar plus or minus z alpha over 2 times sigma over square root of n. And that would be x bar is 73.8 plus or minus z of alpha over 2 is going to be 1.96. Sigma is going to be 5 because you have 25. And square root of n is going to be 14 because you have 16. Now, this 1.96 here, guys. This is how you get that 196. Basically, you have a normal distribution, normal graph, all right? And because it says equal, this is actually a, a two-tail. So it's going to, because you have that. So basically, this is how you do. You first do your confidence interval is 0.95, right? Okay. Then you do one minus your confidence interval, which is alpha. And what you get is going to be 0.05. That 0.05, you are going to divide by two. So it's basically one minus alpha here. And this is minus alpha, then which is 0.05, then 0.05 divided by 2 is equal to 0.025, and this will give you the limit, which is 0.025 here, and 0.025 here, and it's actually going to be negative because here is going to be your zero in the middle. But that's just emphasis. So, uh, so that means here is going to be your ninety-five percent, percent, percent. So that's your ninety-five percent. Now, what does it mean now? When you do that, when you go to your table, when you go to your table. And if you have a CI-89 titanium, all you have to do is when you go to your catalog and press F3 and go to inverse norm, you can just put 0.025 because it will automatically know that that's a Z, Z score. And it will give you the Z score for that, for that 95%. Because what basically you're doing here is you say, okay, on on this part here, you have 0 .0 0 0.025, 0 0.025. When you add them together, you get 0 0.05. So that means this, this in here is 0.95. So this is how we get that 1.96. And as you can see here, uh, when I, if I click enter, enter, and you see now that it's equal to 1.96. Now, it's going to say negative 1.96, but as you're going to do plus or minus, it doesn't matter. So that's how you just put plus or minus 1.96 um, over here. So, what would that be equal to? Then you can just do your calculation. So, you want to type 73.8 minus 1.96 times 5 divided by 4. And you can do the same as plus. Nope. Okay. Plus. Then you would get. 
this answer here. You get 71.35 and 76.25. So the confidence interval, so here is, is asking for the for the 95th percent confidence interval for mu. So that would be equal to 71.35 comma 76.25. And what does that mean? Well, this means that we are 95% sure that this X bar is between 71.35 and 76.25 that's what it means so you are almost certain that when you collect all the data it will be in this range which is between 71.35 and 76.25 so guys this is what it is i will be posting more more of this and by the time we get to a lot of exercises you will see that you will just know that Z of alpha over 2, which is a, if you get a 95% confidence interval for a normal distribution, it will be 1.96. If you get a 99, it will be 2.576. If you get a 90, it will be 1.645. So you will learn these things as you keep on doing them because they will be a second nature to you as you get as you go through them. But I will be putting more things, more, more videos of it uh, so you can get used to it and understand it better. So guys, I hope, you enjoyed, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you understand. And thank you for watching that video. Have a good day. Bye.